Welcome back to Golden Valley! A husband and wife journey through 1.6 of Stardew Valley. I have a golden axe to pick up today. And I don't mean the old Sega cart. I'm putting your hoe back in the red chest. And that is to say I'm putting putting my hoe's hoe. Hey. <laughs> hey, cranberries. Cranberries. I'm... I can pick them. Yes, you do. Oh, I gotta stop picking stuff. Zach. Zach. <laughs> Quit the pickings. <clears throat> but, uh, yes, so the wine should be done soon, and as soon as it is, we are all clear to finish out the Brewer's Bundle, which is the second to last of that section. Um, okay. It's important that we start thinking about any bundles we're not going to be able to complete by the end of winter. Because I would love to finish out the the whole deal um, mm -hmm. before the end of the year. Christ, if we can, in fall. But, you know. <coughs> there are some winter-only items that I don't imagine we'll be able to snag. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I'm blasting off these row... Dun dun dun. What's our day looking like? So it is the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies tonight. And I believe uh, that starts at ten. Should I harvest the hops? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I had to let the chickens out. Uh, no, it's best you do because they they don't benefit from my high level because we're just going to mm. be putting them in the thing anyway. Uh, we gotta pet our babies. Zoidberg didn't get pet. Oh, he didn't. He did not. Unpetted was the Berg of Zoids. I also went ahead and filled the hay. Oh, thank you. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I have realized that um, if you leave one open, it lets you grab more hay. Um, that way... Uh, you can grab hay from the silo and empty that out and then um, mow down more grass to uh -huh. replenish that. That way, uh, you don't... That way, you, you will always have more, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, you deplete it from the silo and then you can cut down more so that you have extra in the winter um, so you're not constantly butting up against the, uh, the cap. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, sorry for doinking with your stees. Oh, no, you're good. That is something that I had <clears throat> remembered from my uh, time solo in prison. plays ages ago. Yes, my time in prison. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> it is Sunday, which means theoretically I could give the wizard a gift. If it wasn't the fucking Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. God damn it. Uh, I don't think I can go to... I think I should be able to go to the fucking mines. But I don't yeah. have my pickaxe. Oh, Damn go pick it. it up. What? I can't. Oh, is it not done today? No, it's the, it's the Midnight Jellies. Oh, right. It's Everybody's a festival. Closed. That's right. I can't pick up my, uh, my uh. can either. <clears throat> uh. I can't believe we're missing a whole day of shit picker-uppery. <laughs> All because of these stupid jellyfish. Nobody cares, jellyfish. You're not even a real fish. Oh, also, hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. They're practically not even animals. They're just gel. <laughs> they look like something well, that you'd scrape out of an L.A. Looks bottle that you forgot at the back of your closet for six years. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you can totally go into shops. Okay, wiki's full of ass. I can totally get my pickaxe, and you can totally get your fucking thingy. Cool. Which means I can totally give a gift to my wizard man. My secret Admiral. boyfriend. Your secret boyfriend. Interesting. <coughs> Do I have a secret girlfriend? My inability to romance the wizard is an affront to God. You should be able to romance the wizard. You forgot two corn. Did I? Oh. Yes. Did you? Did you? Put... Oh, I didn't. I didn't even pick the corn. You did yesterday. Did I? Oh. I. Uh... 
Oh, go ahead and go ahead and pick it. <laughs> Did you make sure to put the non-starred stuff in the respective uh, processing spaces? I did. Excellent. Excellent. Those aren't cranberries, Zach. Those are fucking tomatoes. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> We're starting off strong. Hey, Shinigami. I think you mean I'm starting off wrong. <laughs> Shinny. Oh, my God. Yes. I can water so much now. Oh, hey, I can buy crocus here. That's actually, I think that finishes one of our winter bundles. Hey, I believe so. I'm going to check for fiddleheads since this is our last big fiddlehead hurrah. <coughs> Not that it matters. We have freaking 60 in the box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I definitely don't want to, uh, definitely don't want to process any more yet because we have so, we only have so many and I don't want to run mm -hmm. out. I'm putting the watering can your watering can back in the uh, thing. My watering can back in the thing? Yeah. Wow. Back in one of the chests. So day one, something very important is we're going to have to remember to plant the rare seeds. And ideally, yes. if we could do that on top of uh, deluxe speed grow, that would be even better. Absolutely. Because those oh. will give us a berry. Oh my god, this watering... Oh, yeah, it's so good. Mm hmm. We can now utilize the uh, the final space of the <coughs> uh, plots. Uh, that won't be until iridium. Or did you get iridium? I have iridium. Oh, shit. Yeah, we can totally do it then. Yeah, sorry. For some reason, yeah. I was thinking we just upgraded you to gold. And then I remembered that you got gold a while back. Um, Let's see. So, corn is staying throughout the fall? Yes, corn and... does not go anywhere. Corn, uh, okay, but the blueberries are going, tomatoes are going, hot peppers are going. I believe all of those, yes, are going. Okay, and the hops as well. Uh, yes. <coughs> God, it doesn't matter, but I just can't look at, I can't see forage on the screen and not get it. <laughs> Even though I'm totally wasting... Fair whole ass mining time all of that juicy ground fun god man I am not looking forward to the summer I mean I am because you know slightly warmer weather fuck it, well, extremely warmer weather is nice and good for the body and uh, my mood will probably perk up but fuck me man it's just so I'm damn not hot. Forward to the heat. Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting a crocus here in the purple thing. When you go for bundles, don't forget to grab that and put it in the e... in the thing. Got the... it. Hold on. E. The the winter foraging bundle. Yeah. <coughs> Man, it's too bad we didn't manage to get a hazelnut at any point in the last forever. If we got in a hazelnut, we would have finished the foraging bundle ages ago. <coughs> well, no, because we still needed the fucking crocus. Mm. What's wrong with me? But yeah, I'm actually wondering what other winter stuff we might need. Oh, yeah. Because uh, if, if we could finish winter, all the winter crap, and then just knock out the freaking autumn stuff, that would be oh. so juicified. It's Speaking of that, I can see what the uh, traveling merchant has to sell. I just did, and it was a crocus. Oh, you did? oh right. Yes, you said that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <coughs> Why is there a coconut nowhere near any of the trees? <laughs> How'd you get over there, bud? Magic. What a cop out. I know my boyfriend has not been here. I want you to imagine my mulleted trailer park ass making out with a wizard. <laughs> and now, and now, and this is the important part, uh -huh. put it on a van. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> now just imagine that exact scene, but it's on a van. I love it. What time is the Moonlight Jelly Dance? It starts at 10 p.m., I believe. 10 p.m., okay. Can you remind me 
at nine to get the hell out of here. Yeah, maybe, let me... Maybe closer to eight. Let me double check that <coughs> first. Hell yeah, six level fall, I'll take it. Shit, it's a starred slime. Yes, uh, it starts at 10 p.m. at the beach. Wicked. Oh, God. Got him. Ah, uh, I guess that kind of works. Whatever. In my main, in my uh, solo game, I've got uh. 75 iridium bars and it's not even the end of spring yet oof <laughs> uh it's the the full stack of iridium bars is worth about 150,000 oh wow. <coughs> yeah i am built for i am built for iridium farming and at this point it is more lucrative than pretty much anything else i could do at least until i get a uh, star fruit uh farm going on uh, another thing yeah anyway Now, let me, by the way, y'all, let me know if uh, Bree sounds okay. I'm worried that the sound mixing might be a little off. Oh, as oh, might I, um, as if I'm too quiet? No, something? that the game might be too loud. Oh, gotcha. Doesn't look like it, though. <coughs> Diamondis. You know, for all the rarity, I feel like I get diamonds more than any other gem. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Oh, shit. It's a serpent. Not today, motherfucker. <laughs> Gonna get the ready... the, the area... Ready for uh, some <coughs> uh, some cows. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I think our um, grass supply is dwindling for the chickens. We're probably going to need to figure out a solution to that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, I have another plot that is currently growing. I'll, so that reminds me, if I have time, I might be able to go get buy a few more grass starters. Oh, you shouldn't be spending money on grass starters. Can you make them? No, they'll just, the grass will just grow on its own. As long oh, as you leave okay. enough behind, as long as you leave enough behind, and as long as you have enough uh, of the ground covered in grass, it'll self replenish. But the problem is the mm -hmm. place that you put the chickens. There's not enough individual ones to prevent mm -hmm. it from, or to allow it to grow fast enough to counter the chicken's consumption rate, especially as we start getting more chickens and ducks. Like, as soon as we have like three, we'll, you'll see that disappear in like a week. Oh, yeah, no, the, the plot right next to them that I actually currently have fenced off, mm -hmm. uh, that I'm allowing to grow. They can't touch that yet. Um, that is ideally going to be the entire bird area mm -hmm. uh, for them. So. Fair enough. Let's see here. The thing I try to keep in mind is that the more square you can make the space, the better. If it's a long rectangle, um, it'll the grass growth will get inhibited faster. Because mm. it's going to grow out. And then it's going to hit the walls, and then those things won't be able to propagate. <coughs> Math! amazing how much of speed running and stuff is math and stats mm -hmm. you know like technically this thing that seems like a waste of money is actually worth more money than anything else because it happens at this <laughs> rate or whatever and i'm like oh my god but that's so boring <laughs> yeah <coughs> god i think the worst one was uh what is it uh clay farming was like the big meta for uh, fast money making in 1.5 and earlier. 
because oh, the, yeah? way, the way the randomization seed worked in earlier Stardew is uh, you, it was basically s procedural, and the way the procedure worked, you could just you could just hoe in a specific pattern, and you would always get clay. Um, because huh. the pattern was based on a mathematical protocol that everybody already knew. And the algorithm was so obvious that they're like, oh, you just do this. And then so people would sit there and farm clay. And that might not sound very valuable, but remember that clay sells for 20 gold a piece. And if you get 900, that's a lot of fucking money. That is a lot. <clears throat> and so they would just get like two, 300 a day until they got better gear, until they got stronger, you know, and had more... Uh, stamina and stuff and it was just such a powerful way to start the game that uh it just kind of became the standard meta but the thing is uh concerned ape fucking hated it he was like i hate this exploit i really don't like that this is a thing um <laughs> it, it it felt it's clear to him to me that it felt to him like uh it was showcasing that he, he'd programmed something badly mm. and so he's mm -hmm. like no no we're not doing that anymore i'm gonna i'm gonna fix that <laughs> Gotcha. <clears throat> so 1.6 came out, but here's the cool part. He knew that people really liked that, and so because he's such a fucking mensch, the guy decided to uh, include a legacy uh, legacy RNG option in the menu when you're making your character for the first time that allows mm -hmm. you to keep the old RNG. So people who really liked clay farming can still do that. Um, oh. The only problem is that because uh, that the new RNG is designed for the new... Uh, fucking update if you go with the old RNG there's any number of little problems that could start to show up or like things that don't work quite the way you want them to or uh, your item schedules and stuff like that might not be correct so it's a trade off gotcha. well the funny thing is most people who are doing speedrun strats and stuff like that are actually not even uh, they're not even trying to do uh, clay farming most of them are just like nah we're gonna figure out a new thing because that's how they do. That's I think I think do. I think it's a fundamental misunderstanding on Concerned Ape's part about how speedrunners think. Because for speedrunners, ninety percent of the fun is when an update comes out and they have to like figure out a new meta and uh, you know break the game all over again. It's like mm -hmm. it's half it's half the joy. Yeah. You know, this is a really good luck day, and I have been hammering away at these fucking rocks, and I have not gotten a single <laughs> staircase. This. <laughs> Holy blows my ass. Well, it doesn't help that I'm having to evade a giant army of fucking mummies the whole time. <coughs> I also haven't seen any iridium. This is perplexing. Nope. We're not doing that today. Sorry. Sorry for jibber jabbering so much. Oh no, you're good. I went climbing, so my energy's up. <laughs> I'm just kind of I'm focused on uh, the uh, cow area. I'm trying to do this in a way that's not gonna not gonna trigger your your brain, but I'm having some struggles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, how's this? I'm going to dislike it because my brain is going to dislike anything that I didn't design. So Fair. now you can just focus on making sure it is functional. Okay. That's that's the thing that matters more than anything is that it is functional. Gotcha. You know what I'd say? That's a good rule of thumb for Zach in general. If you want to make Zach happy, make the thing functional. You got it. And right now, it is functional. Nice. Throw in a little bit of uh, consistency, squareness, symmetry. Oof. Oof, you've got me. <laughs> you got me, babe. I am getting pretty oh. close to level 10 on these rocks. I did not watch the uh, Queen of Sauce. Uh oh, I had time paused. Uh oh. Neither of us noticed. Well, I will Oops. call it at level 25.
Cool. Now I know how to make bread. Do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, so do I. So... <laughs> Bust those boxes, baby. Fucking bats. Yeah. <coughs> I'm not going to go long yet, because I feel like at this point it would have been around 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I was going to go until I got some iridium, but that's not fucking happening. So, you know, I here we are. Not. Six levels. Jesus, I'm on level 26. <laughs> Give me the iridium. That one's not even really an iridium. That's just a crab. I was hoping that one of these dragons would drop a dragon egg so that we could raise dragons in our chicken coop. That'd be cool. <coughs> there is some hot meta about one of the uh, upgrade books you can get. Wherein oh, yeah? uh, it doubles or I think triples the value of artifacts of any kind. And the reason why that's mm -hmm. so fucking hot is because... Um, Dragon eggs are considered artifacts, relics. Um, and so they end up like being crazy valuable. And then on top of that, you're just getting a bunch of them because you got a bunch of farms so or ranches. So you just got a shitload of these dragons pumping out these relics that are all tripled value. And I nice. think, I want to say the value increase extends to the mayonnaise because mayonnaise takes the base value of the thing that you're making and doubles it. And so it ends up becoming times six the value of a normal dragon egg. Oh, wow. Yep. It's not broken either, because it ends up being actually slightly less valuable than ostriches. Hmm. But yeah, right now, the ostrich meta is hot. Ostrich meta. <laughs> Gotta get them ostriches. Hell yeah. Coconut. Cacatus. Let's see here. I can't. You're all the way in the other room. Damn it, man. In that entire run, I got two iridium. Ooh. Jesus. That sucks. Uh, we've got time left if you wanted to do a chest rearranged to make some room in the... Uh, uh, crop chest. We could do a. F we could separate into a forge chest instead of the seasonal thing, but uh, I leave it to you. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. It is completely hmm. full. I do like the idea of doing forage, and then do we have a do we have a free chest somewhere? Uh, if it's anywhere. This one. This one's empty. Yes. I put them there so that we, so you would know that I was going to build it like this. So you could go like one, two, three, and then go like one, two, three. Okay. <coughs> Actually, I might do this. 
this. Ah, there's a torch there. Do that, and then we, we can put a decoration in between them or another workstation or something like that. All right. Cool. So I think maybe I'll do forage in this one. Turn it like bright light green. Mm, okay. No. I'm fine. Let's see, that's forage. That's forage. Selling the mail. Okay. <clears throat> so theoretical options for chests we could do a pink chest for gifts and separate that from our valuables we could do a um <clears throat> a chest just for food and uh recovery items um i like that idea there's all sorts of options little optional flop options <laughs> your uh, your bamboo pole is here. Is there a reason for that, or? Um, because buying a fiberglass rod didn't replace it. Gotcha. I will trash it. Okay. And if we need it, I'll just make another one. Fair. We are nearing the point where we're going to have enough iridium to hand that I can make iridium sprinklers. Um, so we're, we might want to reconsider how we lay this out after sometime in the, either, either next year or uh, we could try to aim for fall for it, but I don't know. Uh, I would say, hmm, also, let's get there... you better tools first. Okay. Is there... And then... Is there a reason there's a gap in the cobblestone here? Uh, over by the scarecrow? Yes. I think I forgot to fill that in. I see. Yeah, I totally forgot to fill that in. That's okay. I will uh, fix that now. Okay. Um, I've seen it like four times and every time I was like, I'll mention it later. And then I didn't. <laughs> I can make another barrel, baby. There we go. All done. You are precious to me. Woo. Big barrels, baby. Can you make the wine, please, you bastards? Give me the wine. <laughs> I can't help but notice that I don't have a shitload of wine. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So okay. we've got a little bit of time. Uh, I know this is this is gonna look a little janky for now. Mm -hmm. You wanted to pop over here. My God. Um, but I was trying to line up the pathing, um, and I think I need to realign this one. But uh, this what? goes all the way down. This looks fine. Nice pathing. I mean, I feel like if we could get it so that it's here instead, that would be better. But yeah, I can do that. I don't think it's a priority. Yeah, and then here, this this area is going to be for the fishing pond. What about this one? This, uh, I haven't decided yet, but I let's walled just, it off. Let's, so just put that another, it just... let's just put another fishing pond here. Yeah? More ponds is better. We could do More one sturgeon. We could do one sturgeon and one of something useful. Like, there's all sorts of good fish for the ponds. Sounds good to me. 
I feel weird. Feel weird? I think my my workout high is uh, uh, being met by my uh, food heavy low. Mm. That makes sense. Gonna catch some fish before heading to the beach. The only thing left that I care about upgrading, other than the bamboo pole to the iridium pole, is uh -huh. uh, theoretically it would be nice to get an iridium pickaxe. Um, right now I've got a steel axe. I don't really feel a strong desire to get that in gold, but we can do that at any time and it won't cost that much. Uh, the hoe I don't care about. Might be nice, but you know, not a priority. Yeah. And the scythe will come on its own for free just as a consequence of the way the game works. Yeah. Sandfish row. Pickled tomater. Well, not a big money haul today, but it's something. Well, I'm going to be selling some of the fish that I catch before the festival, so. Well, selling all of them, hopefully. For sure. We might should have got ourselves some iridium poles. We've got the money. Oh, uh, Joja Cola is now uh, pretty valuable in the meta. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, they added uh, the same caffeine speed perk as coffee and espresso and all that. Ooh. So um, it now has a, a speed boost, which is very good. And uh, having those to hand can be really powerful. It only nice. takes three. Or rather, it only lasts for 30 seconds is what I meant to say. And uh, ah. but So if you just chug them. But you can even buy them for really cheap. Mm -hmm. Which makes it even better. Talk to everyone. I gotta talk to everyone. Well, summer's over. I don't know if you saw, but your uh, your wizard boyfriend is uh, at the top of, at the way back of this place. Yo. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. <laughs> Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. Or I'm get blessed with the gift of old man thirst. <laughs> Sorry, uh... my hunky beefcake detector is it was it maximum? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh I just kinda skipped through what Leah had said. Yeah. Did did she say she was paying respects to the boys of summer? I, I think so. Huh. I really should be reading their dialogue. I have not been. Life is can, so easy know, for... You... Huh? Oh, no. Go ahead. Finish your thought? I was going to say, because you know, you can you can never look back. Don't look back. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God, I feel so bad for Caroline... Yeah. Her husband sucks. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of want this moonlight jelly banner. Ooh, that is pretty. And it's hard to tell. Ah, I'll leave it. I want to see the rare green jelly. What if they're poisonous? Yeah, dude, they're fucking jellyfish. And the term is venomous, you imbecile.
I'm wearing my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. God, Clint, you're such a oh. wiener. <laughs> Dude, he's such a fucking incel about it. Hey, Jeez. Ryan, how you doing? Hey, Ryan. I'm ready to launch the boat. Go ahead. Launch it. Boat launch. Show me your fish. The dance of the moonlight jellies. Woo wee. There's so freaking many of them, man. Oh, it's the green one. So pretty. S super rare, super beautiful, all for me. I'm gonna eat it. It's swimming right up to me because I'm so fucking special. <laughs> Apparently, um, the Sheen post marriage dialogue is pretty rough, and so a lot of people are kind of a little upset. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he's doing things like uh, if you talk to him before a festival, they're like, oh, God, there's going to be a lot of people there. Let me chug a few before we go. Oh. oh yeah. No. Yeah. It's not great. That's but I think that was. Uh, huh? Unfortunate. Yeah. But I think that was like kind of the point is like, I think Concerned Dave was really like, I think you need to understand that some people just don't get better. Right. Or mm -hmm. they do, but not in the ways you want them to, you know, yeah. <sighs> bedtime, bedtime, Excuse it's time for foul, foul, foul. It is foul time. Let the crops fallow in their places. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't sell my fish. Damn it. You, rube. Ah. Uh, you bumbling maroon. Oh, bad luck, no rain. Great. What a perfect day for me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, all of our hops are gone. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. All the better. Uh, that fence was needless at this point. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had right. prepared the uh, the land. I did not. Oh. <laughs> I remember oh. you saying I'm preparing the space. Oh. Oh, you no, met with the, the the cow space. The cow. Oh no. I don't know why I thought that was silly of me. We should have probably done this last night. Uh, no, I'm working on it right now. If you go get seeds. I got this. Oh, seeds aren't available until nine, so. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Open up for the chickies. So, all we need is a mushroom and a hazelnut, and then we are complete on the foraging bundle, and I can't remember what that unlocks. But uh, I do want to buy a bunch of buy or make a bunch of s speed grow and oh, uh, yeah. I want to set one of each of the fall crops bundle things on your little personal garden area mm -hmm. um, with the speed grow in the hopes that we can get a uh, get the bundle done promptly because I really want the greenhouse sounds good to me yeah the greenhouse is going to be a, a really good thing to get in retrospect, I probably should have bought the eggplant when I saw it, but... Eh. 
I didn't. Uh, do we want... How do we want to use this space? Uh, I mean, up to you. Now that, uh, now that the hops are gone. Oh, so you know what we could do? We could make the leftmost area here, we could make that into a workshop zone. Yeah. Like, we could just turn this into a workshop space. Mm-hmm. And not worry about the rest. Yeah, that would clear out the front of the house, uh, space-wise. Do you still want the little garden in front of your house? Yeah. Could use that for random seeds that we get. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave it open. And then mm -hmm. if we come across stuff, we'll put it there. And then uh, I'm thinking over here on the left is where we'll put um, extra stuff and uh, the speed gross things. Sounds good to me. And then, yeah, let me, let me look into speed grow real quick. Man, the music for this is awesome. So deluxe speed grow requires oh, oak resin. Ooh. Oof. Uh, maybe I can buy it. We have plenty of pike, right? Uh, I've got three right now. I meant like in the chest. Uh, maybe. Red. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if we wanted to move, like, the forges and stuff like that over here, along with specific chests for those things, that might be good. And then we mm -hmm. can make that line in front of your house. We can finish out your the rest of your garden there. Yeah. Uh, we just gotta make sure it's quickly and easily accessible and all. Um, actually, there's a hazelnut right here, so if there is a mushroom in any of the chests, an ordinary mushroom, not the purples then we are clear for takeoff so crocus i'm not seeing a regular mushroom pale ale would be good next okay so pale ale mead okay fuck it i am going to just print a wine because it doesn't fucking matter and we're about to get one anyway. It's just taking forever for the brewery to finish. Um, so... As far as... Okay. Taking these down. And I'm thinking we'll put... What? Wild honey? God damn it. It's not supposed to do that. Ugh, that's aggravating. Uh, whatever. I'll figure that out after I get seeds. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we remove the chest next to the brewery area so that when all of the brews come up, we can remove them and then we can replace our... our uh, barrels somewhere else that's a little bit more convenient. Sounds good to me. And ideally a space that allows for more uh, more barrels. Because that area is pretty cramped. Okay. Pumpkin seeds. How many do we currently have in the chest? I want to say nine. Let me check. We have 18. And how many spaces do we have in each of the uh, the planter rows? Let's see. It's three by ten? I think they're three by ten now, yeah. Okay. Were they not three by ten before? Yeah, they might have been three by nine. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, no, it's it's not yeah, it's not ten. It's uh twelve. Oh. I remember now because I had set it up because I thought that the iridium thing was yeah anyway uh 10 uh, 12 would be 36 okay we've already got corn going you said we have nine pumpkin seeds 18 18 cool 
18 pumpkin seeds, cranberry, we'll get another 30 of those. We can do more wheat if we want. Uh, hmm. We only need one fairy flower, but I'm going to do 10 just because, unless we should do more. I'll just start with 10. Okay, speed. Ah, oh, he only sells normal speed grow. All right. Well. I'm going to buy an extra eggplant and pumpkin so that we can speed that process up. Because that's I think that's all we need for the crop bundles. Okay. Yeah, fall crops, we just need pumpkin, eggplant, and then a wine, which I just cheated in. But we can just throw away the first grape wine that we get. Um, then we're going to get that in, like, less than a day. Forge bundle is in my hands. Fish tank is on its way. So the pantry is the greenhouse, and then the crafts room is bridge repair, which I'm about to finish now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so and like... if I do some fishing... Uh... I think I'll be able to get the fishing done tomorrow because I think I'm about to uh, lose one of the uh, time slots for fishing. What do you mean? Uh, as in, I think one of the fish is only available until 1 o'clock or something. Oh, okay. Uh, we spent a lot of time discussing, so I'm cool just pausing real quick while you do what you're doing. Uh, uh... Okay, never mind. Well, sorry, I, I need to look up what fish they are. Uh, one of them I know I can catch. Oh, no, wait, I think we're good. I think, yeah? Uh, yeah, until... Until 7 p.m. tonight. We just got 30 fall foraging seeds, which is fantastic. And here comes bridge repair complete. Bundle complete, and I think this is winter seeds. Done. Bundle. Dundle. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. <laughs> Alright, as soon yeah. as I have these spots watered, I'm gonna go uh, get the fish. Red. Okay, Brewer's Bundle. One. Two. A three. Dunzo. Yes. Okay. So, hopefully, we'll get some speed grow from our boys. Hey, they gave us a keg for that. Nice. Yeah, I really want that full crops bundle done ASAP. Even after all of that buying, we still have over 20,000 left. That's awesome. Nice. All right. Tomorrow is Penny's birthday. We have poppies to give her. Sweet. Oh, that's right. She's the only one that likes them, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty well disloved. All right. Oh, no. The corns. Oh, don't forget to unfreeze time. Thank you. Okay. Cool. I think I might have goofed in the amounts here, but that's okay. Oh, shit. I didn't realize we had yam seeds. Oh, and beet seeds. And broccoli seeds. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Oh, and I have 10 Deluxe Speed Grow. Shit. Love it. Nice. All right. 
And we got wheat, which also is planted in the fall. There's the pumpkin. Uh, ancient scenes grow in the hothouse once we have it ready, which will be very prompt. We didn't plant those nine melon seeds we had in here. That's silly. We can plant sunflower in the fall as well. Cool. So, here I go, I guess. Yambos. And bambos. And we got the pampkers. Jesus, 13 days on the pumpkin. Woo! Mm -hmm. Now we got the box choys. Not the band. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I didn't get enough. Catching some salmon too. Red. Alright, I'm going to put the speed grow on the leftern side. And that is where I'm going to put the, uh, the fancy boys. And the pumpkin. The broccoli over in the garden, and along with some of the bok choy, and these extra pumpkins. Cool. One cranberry. One. The amaranth. And then I have 24 grape starters, which we can use uh, as needed to create mm -hmm. uh, fences and barriers and the like. Nice. Okay. So all of the repli the, the non-replenishables for those I'll go ahead and put down, you know, like Amaranth and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Just keep cycling through the non-renewable boys. Okay. I'm pausing real quick. I want to check okay. out the bundles and see if what what else we're missing. Okay, fall crops bundle. We got that, and it's already set up with the speed grow. Huh. <laughs> Riverfish bundle and walleye. You've got those coming. Mm -hmm. Fodder. We still need one gr one apple. Chef's bundle needs a truffle and a. Sushi and a bunch of other crap. <laughs> Die bundle. We're on our way with both the beet and the duck feather. And then winter shit. That's going to be a while. Yeah. Ugh. I've got one half of the uh, the fish stuff done. I've got the tiger trout 
Um, I'll just be fishing here until I get the walleye. When do ancient seeds grow? Is that summer? Oh, spring, summer, fall. Then shit, I can go ahead and plant. Wait, is that renewable? Oh wow, okay. So ancient seeds actually regrow after after planting. So it would not be smart to plant that until we have our other stuff. Mm. Until we have our greenhouse. Yeah, and I think once we have the greenhouse, if we set that up with the sprinklers, that's I think that would be ideal. You think so? Mm-hmm. Because I will probably forget to water things that are in the greenhouse, because it's out of sight, out of mind for me. That's fair. I probably won't, because I'm pretty good at remembering that stuff. I'm going to give myself the iron bars that I just lost from picking up the furnaces. Okay. Don't forget to unfreeze time. Oh, uh, yeah. There's something in this room causing me to sneeze, and I don't know what it is. Uh oh. Huh, okay. Once you are done, I'd like to talk about how we're going to lay out our space. Okay. Because I'm trying to figure out the deets. <clears throat> okay. So we gotta decide where we're gonna put our uh, flowers and shit. Oh yeah. Are you gonna be fishing the rest of the day? Yes. Okay. I, uh, so today's kind of our only chance to get things set up, and I'd like to get that done before we, uh, before okay. tomorrow. I'm so, coming back. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to pause time so we've got time to think about it. All right. <clears throat> so we've got a couple things that we need to figure out. Mm -hmm. But right now, we've got a collection of kegs. We've got a collection of beehives. We have uh, our tool stuff like our crystallarium uh you know our dehydrator shit like that uh then we got our preserves jars so we got a lot going on so i'd like to figure out where we want to put those things that they're going to be both out of the way but also easily accessible Well, I kind of like the kegs and the beehives where we had them before. They were those were kind of out of the way. True, but and that area, <clears throat> but that area could be another row of crop. And now that you've got the iridium watering can, that is a much easier thing to do. True. Well, 
Well, then the only real viable space is this workshop area that we already kind of half, have half set up. So um, an another option is we could pick an area in like the southeast and have it all be that be all of our um, automated uh, growth stuff. So we've got our pine tar, we've got our maple syrup, we've got all that. So that's where we put things that are kind of self-generating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one, that's one option. Yeah. Actually, I, I like that. We do have uh, plenty of space down here. Yeah. Fair. And we can put the uh, the good stuff up closer to the front. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm thinking we plant one flower somewhere easily accessible and then we lay out all of our beehives and all. Later we'll build sheds for this stuff, but mm -hmm. for now, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make some uh, since we have so much. Oh boy, hold on. So much what? We have so much stone. Um, small mouth bass. You can't make a fish with stone, Bree. <laughs> That's great. Sorry. Uh, since we have so much stone, um, we can. Uh, I'm gonna make some um, uh, pathways, just to kind of keep grass from growing. Uh, one place I could definitely use uh, some crystal paths is between these trees so that they stop growing trees between them. Oops, I did not mean to pick up that crystal path. That's made out of quartz, right? Yeah. Alright, so if I plant a single... If I plant a single flower, and that was there, and then I put the beehives around it, oh, I cannot make crystal paths. Oh, right, I have the recipe. Sorry. That's her. Here. How many do you need? Uh, let's see. One, oh, two, it's a uh, refined three, quartz. Four, five. Oh. I just want uh, like give me like two. That should be enough. Okay. I am putting down a single fairy seed. Does that feel like an okay space? No, that doesn't look right. Uh, we don't want paths there. Oh, we don't? No. 
That's where we're putting all of our honey. Oh, right. Presumably, I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not clear on what exactly I should be doing here. Okay. So this is as far. This is the farthest a, a beehive can go before it stops having. Okay, you're nowhere near me. Oh, sorry. So five squares is the mm -hmm. farthest it can go before it stops having access to the to the flower that gives it uh, detail or a specific mm -hmm. kind of honey. Uh, theoretically, I can just build it around here for now and then drop a, um, a single chest at the outside, which would work. Uh, it won't look very good, but then eventually it'll just look like a, a diamond of, of honey things. Ooh, I like that idea. Here is the cobblestone paths that I just picked up. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do... It's just such an awkward placement, you know? I feel like maybe <laughs> here would be better because this kind of sticks in a little. Mm, maybe, so, yeah. So, let me try that. So if that goes there, see that fits way cleaner. Yeah. Cause that's gonna go to here and then it's gonna go down like that. Mm -hmm. And then up like this. Yeah. So if I did that, then we set those one, two, three, four, five being the farthest chest at the tip for easy access, like that. We could build the rest around it. Oops, not like that. Like this, two, three. And then just fill in the diamond as we go, I guess. Yeah. Right now it just looks like a cock and balls, but you know. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Organization. Flower planted. Okay. Uh, so there is going to be. I'm going to show you the outline of this. Mm hmm. So. This one right here is as far out as the honey is going to go. If you've got a okay. path that goes like this. And then straight down. You got it. And then just create a ladder going towards this. Or not ladder. Stairs. That's the word. Yeah. Because ultimately it's going to be like. Oops. Not that. It's going to look like that. Yeah. You got it. I was just going to say straight down because I'm probably going to duplicate this system and I'm going to put another wild honey here, which will allow us to have this be more like a block and so it'll look kind of like a farm shape. Okay. Or a barn is what I meant to say. Hmm. Hmm. So okay. if, you ran, if you ran this uh, here, that would be good because that goes directly to the center. Oops. No. There we go. Bingo. And if we want, we could actually do uh, the exact same pattern and mirror it here with barrels. Ooh, I like that.
I would say maybe make it double wide. Okay. That way we've got plenty of that diagonal space. There you go. Yeah, it looks great. Actually, I messed that up. Oh, no. It's double wide on the other side. Oh, no. I could make it three. Ugh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe that works. I mean, I was figuring we would just fill all empty space with cobbles until we need it. Oh, that works. Because I was thinking preserve jars here. Preserve and jars, sorry, where? Here. So it's basically going to be like preserve jars here, mm -hmm. uh, kegs here, honey here. Okay. Sounds good to me. In fact, if I play it right... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, <coughs> if we play it right, I can actually put the chests here, here, and here, and that way they're all immediately accessible to each other. Like, bam, bam, bam. Oh, there needs to be, yeah. needs to be one more right here. I think that's empty. Perfect. Neat. So if you bring this to here and then run it over here. Yeah. Might need to be double wide somewhere. Low or high, dealer's choice. Okay. Mm yeah, there we go. It would be nice if this thing was throwing off some... Uh, acorns or whatever, but uh, alas, it ain't. <laughs> cool. So, now we've got a direct path to our little quarry, which is great. I mean, I figure once we develop more, we'll probably end up scrapping most of this, but for now, oh, yeah. it all works. This is the evolution of the farm. Yeah. Um, shit, I'm trying to discern what I should put here on this speed grow. Because it cuts the production time by 25%, which is not bad. Hmm. Not sure what the money makers are. Fall money crops stardew. I want to say it's pumpkins, but if we're gonna do pumpkins, we would want that in bulk. We would want like a big block of them to increase the chance of a uh, <clears throat> a, a large pumpkin because those large pumpkins do like twenty six. Oh yeah. It's a shame could, they take so long to grow, though. We could do another plot here, like a fat plot, just for pumpkins. Yeah. Because this little bit is a little anemic, pumpkin-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we are moving a lot of our production down to the southeast corner, uh, that works. Let's see here. If you have limited crop processing power but can still process a slower growing crop, pumpkins easily overtake uh, cranberries. Pumpkins process much faster in preserve jars than kegs. Uh, if you're poor, eggplant gives uh, far and away the best return per dollar spent on seeds, but only half the per plant income of cranberries. Still a very strong early game crop. 
Deluxe Speed Grow plus Pumpkin allows for three harvests per season. Damn. Damn. This is really suggesting pumpkins are the way to be. So if we, if we, not worrying about speed grow, of course, if we go ahead and just turn this chunk of land into a pumpkin plot and have this up here be our processing center, mm -hmm. um, that would probably do the best. Oh, and it is exactly multiple of three. It is 12 wide. Sweet. Four, we five, six. We should probably six. put uh, time back on. No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we are one too long here. Hold on, one, two. I can I can pass that so it's a has it's got a marker. Sure. Damn. Well, since now I know the details, I'm going to do a couple things here. Cran, berry seed, one, two, three. So I am going to put cranberries on this on this deluxe speed grow that I have, just because they'll be a, a regular fun cash crop. And we'll get a lot of okay. extra stuff there. Uh, I am I'm cheating in some stuff, but I'm gonna uh, throw away a bunch of pumpkins or uh, melons to make up for it. Okay. Uh, pumpkin. So we have twelve by six, which is seventy-two, I believe. And seventy-two. It's gonna cost a fair amount pumpkin stardew valley how much is the seed 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 base cost is 50 which means it would have cost us <coughs> for 72 50 would have cost us uh, 1500 I think. Am I wrong on that? Fifteen hundred. Sorry, I can't math at the moment. Seventy-two times fifty. Yeah, that'd be about fifteen hundred-ish. So I'm going to take some stuff and throw it away. Sounds good to me. Okay. So we get that, that, that. We're overdue for a tossing anyway. Um, so what would be the value of these hot peps? <clears throat> 5,200. So I'm going to throw away about 2,200 uh, gold worth of stuff. Sounds good. As a kind of a cost punishment thing. Yeah. Okay. You didn't buy this when you should have. You didn't plan ahead. <laughs> it's not going to be cheap. But we'll more than make up for it in pumpkin harvests. I only wish I had uh, saved some of that oak resin for speed grow. But even then, it's not really that big of a deal. Because, frankly, I don't care that much about crop. We're making so much money on uh, friggin' fish. And once I get into the... Far more substantial earnings of uh, iridium farming and uh, all that. It'll definitely be there'll definitely be better ways to cash up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've got ten grape starters, thirty fall crop boys, thirty-two amaranth. Uh. Hmm. Trying to think of where best to put these flowers. I think 
can probably just fill some of the space up here. It's, it's ready. Good enough. No, and I'll throw away the extra one as further punitive measures. Uh, where would you like grape starters? <clears throat> Ooh. Um, we could here, run them actually. Yeah, there? Actually, yeah, that looks nice. Down here. I like that. They won't impede anything if we have them here. I have more, though. Okay. Um, <coughs> we can do it on the other side, too. Oh, yeah. That works. Does that get everything? Yes, it does. Sweet. I had four extra, but I'm gonna toss them. I'm also going to remove the last couple, maybe, just that they're not blocking space to here. Okay. Seems good. That way you can throw the. Or I've got. I've got cobbles. Dink, dink. One, two, blink. Boink. Cool. <coughs> oh, man. Mm -hmm. I had I was just one shy. Oh. But I got it. I see. There. Okay. What else can we finagle? So, uh the the fall seeds and the amaranth seeds, I'm just going to plant on top of where we lose the uh, bok choy when that's done. Okay. I'm going to give myself two more fall seeds. Because we can't buy those, unfortunately. And there's exactly too, too few. Okay. Plot that, that. The standard speed grow doesn't feel like it's going to get used much, but whatever. Uh... Cool. So now we have a location for our keg chest, and we just got to put the kegs in there. And that means I can start doing melon wine. Cool, cool. Okay, and then we got the wheat. Hope you didn't catch that on mic. Huh? Me ripping ass. Oh. Just fine. fully shredding my jockeys. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Okay, good. That would have been devastating. Oh, Oh, I did not get a water. Okay, cool. Okay. Got it now. Tomatoes, peppers, corn for the preserve space. Uh, yeah, and that means these guys, actually, I can just bloop, 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 bloop. You gotta bloop them. It turns gotta out. bloop them. Oh, wait, shit. I gotta clear that. Fucking, I can't have errant... Hoings. <laughs> this is very narrow, but that's fine. <clears throat> you know, cool. I think it might even be better to do this. Ah, yeah. Now. Oh, hold on. Oops. Wrong no, you, don't one. Have to, you don't have to do that. It'll place on top. Oh, it will? Yeah, it did on the other side. Oh. Boink. 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 Cool. <laughs> the 
this side's gonna do melons, wheat, then hippity hops. Okay, good. Processing. I'm gonna go ahead and put a mayo. I'm gonna put the mayo processor in the chicken coop, and then we can set up an auto grabber with a chest so that it does all three tasks. Cool. So, mayo boy. I'm gonna move the chicken statue if that's okay with you. Yep, works for me. <laughs> Ah, also reminds me. Gotta close the door. There we do. Okay. We got a bait maker here. Actually, maybe I can just make the deluxe. How much does it cost to make the deluxe? Deluxe where? Moss. Oh, we got shitloads of moss. Yeah, we do. Do you need my help for anything else? Uh, I don't know. What uh, what all what all last minute stuff do we need? Is there any parts that you're like, oh, it'd be nice if we had this? Um, mm. I can't really think of anything right now. Where? Oh, I guess you you still have the uh, recycler in your inventory, right? I do. Okay. The recycler I will set up. Right here. Cool. <sighs> and then we just need a spot for. Uh, duh, duh. Yeah, okay, that's all looking good. Do we have somewhere we'd like to put mushroom thing? Maybe down south? Oh, the log, yeah. Just for now. Or hell, we could uh, put them all right here in front of the fruit cave. Oh, that's actually even better. Hell yeah. I'm going to put a chest over there just so it's got one. Hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up to these uh, kegs and preserve jars ready to plop. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I thought I picked up the keg or the chest over here. I didn't. I'm putting the remaining chests in this container. Uh, yam seeds. I suppose I'll put all of the dehydrator stuff in the preserves jar space for now. Just so it's out of my freaking way. In here, in here, in here. Did you say we needed a common mushroom for the bundle? Or did you already uh, take care just, of that? Just throw one away. Oh. What's up? Oh, because we had one in the chest here. Yeah, just go ahead and throw one away. Okay. I have already placed it in the bundle. Done. In a bun dance. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're on the right track. I think we're just about done. Cool. Let me know when you want to unfreeze time. I can go catch the walleye and finish our fish bundle. Already on it. Go for it. Sweet. I really appreciate your aid and uh, patience. Yeah. Do we have anything else we need to take to the community center? I think we're pretty locked in now. I think all we need is just to wait. The fall okay. crops, we are waiting on pumpkin and eggplant, river fish, tiger, or er, river fish bundle is the tiger fish. 
yep, night fishing, got... walleye. Mm-hmm. Fodder uh, bundle. Caught... We... Sorry. Fodder, fodder bundle would need one apple. Chef's bundle. Too much to think about. That's gonna get. That's not gonna get done until we have a new house. Which, by the way, we could get a new house soon. Just saying. Mm. Um, if we can get. Uh, if we can get a new house, we can make plum pudding and finish the winter star bundle, which means there's really nothing in winter we need. Uh, in fact, mm. the sooner we can get a pig and a house, we're done. Once once we have those two, we're finished. We can get the fucking bundles rocked out. Okay. So right. we, let's prioritize those. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Cool. And once you bust them bundies, we'll have, uh, that's the bridge, right? Um, I think so, maybe? It might be the glittering, uh, rock. I can't remember, I'll... You are correct, it is the glittering rock. Not to be confused with a bird. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, dog. Oh, shit. If we're going to put... <laughs> I'm a goof. If we're going to put this stuff here, then we need a scarecrow. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, Scarecrow placement's going to be annoying and awkward, but uh, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, we might be better off than I thought. I believe oh man never mind I was like I believe all of our crops are covered they are not oh no do we have enough scarecrows uh the, the, the number isn't as important as the placement fart nuggets Okay, so we need straw, coal, and wood, plus another skerk. All right, so at the moment, we have most of it covered, but there's a couple of changes I'm going to have to make to really drive it home. Ah, crap. Well... Working so far. Too many fucking scarecrows. I hate it. What? I keep looking over at the uh, at the stream. <laughs> Watch your focus face. You, you look angry. 
Oh, yeah, I do get a little pissy in the face. <laughs> I do develop face piss. <laughs> face piss. <laughs> okay. Come on, walleye. I hate how all the fuck over the place this is going to look. Why can't the scarecrows be better? You fuck. That'll do. I think that's everything. I'm going to generate another one. Just so I have a visual. Okay, we got that guy getting most of that coverage. Dang it. Yeah. No luck on the walleye. Really? It's now one ten AM I gotta I gotta go home. Uh I hate to ask. I'm sure you checked. Is it rain only? Shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I caught some extra fish for us to uh <laughs> to sell. <laughs> yes. There is that. Oh cool. Bait. That's exactly what I need what I wanted. Well, I guess I'm on my way home. Excellent. Oh, uh, and apparently uh we can't get ostriches yet. Even with the barn. Yeah. We have to find the eggs. And we don't have access to that area yet. Fair enough. So I will focus on getting pigs. Why would it do that? Alright. Uh, I think I've figured out a semi-optimal way to do this shit. That is full coverage with a good amount of overlap. I think we're solid. Awesome. They're all the way in our fucking way, but that's all right. Ignore that. Okay. Yeah, we're leaving that for the mooring. The mooring. The mooring. All right. Do we want to do another day, or do we want to go to go do Smallville stuff. Um, I like the idea of going to do Smallville. Okay. We got we got the the, the worst day of the fall done. We that was that was the first day, the worst day where all we had to do all the work. Yeah. Hey, Bridget baby. And there's coal nodes over there. Ooh. Man, I was looking forward to this for so long and we only got one day and it was all boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we 
should have stray, uh, uh, time to stream tomorrow. I think I'm busy. Are you busy? Okay. I think so. Oh, well. <sighs> All right. All right. We'll see how I feel. Maybe, hopefully, tomorrow we'll have some time. Okay. We'll see our beautiful home in the daylight. Oh, a wonder, a treasure. <laughs> Look ye in despair. There's so much watering to do. <laughs> I mean, you got the iridium can. You're fine. It's going to take you like a quarter of the time. True. Yeah. It's much better now. <laughs> Ugh, yeah. All right. Neat. Anyway, I'm tired. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for being here, Shinigami, Ryan, Luke. Y'all have been marvelous, regular staples in our in our stable, as it were. Uh, hey. If you want to see more of this stuff, you know, just keep watching. Give it, give it likes. Give it, give us a subscribe. Pop into the uh, Discord and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I, good night. I love you. Good night. <laughs>